Let's begin with practice set 8.1 today. Now the first question says that you have to construct the following quadrilaterals with the, with the help of the given measures. The first one. In quadrilateral MORE, MO is 5.8, OR is 4.4, M is 58, O is 105 and R is 90. So basically we have got two line segments given and three angles given over here. First of all, we need to draw the rough figure. So let's draw the rough figure first. Okay. So we have quadrilateral M O R E. So I'll draw a rough figure here. Say M O R E. Okay. So M O is 5.8. So M O is 5.8 centimeters. O R is 4.4. That means this is going to be 4.4. Then M is 58, angle M is 58, angle O is 105, O is 105, angle R, that means this one is 90 degree, fine. So once a rough figure is done, it's easy to draw. Remember rough figure is compulsory, you have to draw the rough figure. Let's begin. First we have to draw the baseline, that is MO. So let's measure I'll do it here. MO is 5.8. So 5.5678. This is 5.8 here. This is my 0. So from here, I'll draw to here. So MO 5.8 centimeters. Next is we'll take the two angles. This is 58. So first we'll take 58. Alright, now 58 means it will come between 50 and 60. It's an acute angle. Remember, don't go on this side. Acute angle means this side. So, it will come between 50 and 60. So, 55, then those small three lines, 55, 6, 7, 8. So, here it comes, 58. So, we'll join 58. Then, we'll write it here. 58. This one is 105. Now, this is an obtuse. So, you cannot come on the inner side of 90. You have to go on the outside, outer side. Remember, first see 58 means it was inner. Now, 105 is outside. So, this side will go. We can't go. This is 90. No, we can't take it this side. So, 105 means between 100 and, 100 and 110. So, this is 105. The little slightly bigger line between 100 and 110 is 105. So we join that. Done. This is 105. Okay. The next one is the next measure is 4.4 centimeters. So what you have to do is you've done 5.8, 58, and 105. Now take 4.4. Measure 4.4. So 4.4 we'll take 4 and this, this is 4.5. So the smaller line before the 4.5 line is 4. Okay. And here this is this. This is 4.4. Place your pointer at 4 and make an arc at 4.4. Now from 4.4 what you have to do is you have to mark 90 degree. From this point, see this point should be here. You can see this. So keep your pointer there and mark 90. 90 is here. See 90 is here. So I've marked 90. Now join. Okay. This is 90. So this is your R. This is your E and that's your first diagram. Let's do sum number 2. Now, construct quadrilateral DEFG such that DE is 4.5 cm, EF is 6.5 cm, DG is 5.5, DF is 7.2 and EG is 7.8. See, no angles are given, all sides are given. Let's draw a rough diagram first. D, E, F, G. Okay. 
D E F G. D E is four point five. E F is six point five. D G five point five. D G five point five. D F seven point two. D F seven point two. And E G that is this one. This this one okay e g seven point eight centimeters done so now here there are no angles all what we have to do is we have to use compass and scale okay so first is baseline baseline is going to be of four point five so four and your four point five so four point five is our baseline so d e four point five centimeters. Then you have take only this part, five point five and seven point eight. Second part is see this one is five point five no so draw five point five. Five point five okay five point five. Now five point five keep your pointer here. Draw an arc of five point five. Now see this slant line. This is seven point eight right now. Measure seven point eight. From this point, you took five point five. From this point, now we have to take seven point eight. So measure seven point eight. So seven point eight is here. Okay, seven point eight. So seven point eight. Now place your pointer on E and cut this. Got it? From here, from D I took five point five. From E I took seven point eight because my rough figure says from here it is five point five. From here it is. Seven point eight. So now what I have to do is I have to join. I have to join D at this point where it meets and E also the same point. Done. Now look at point E. From E to F it is what six point five, right? And D to F is seven point two. So from here I'm going to mark six point five. From here I'm going to mark seven point two. Okay. So let's see. 6.5 all right 6.5 place your point to your mark 6.5 all right then 7.2 7.2 all right 7.2 so place your point to at the and cut Fine. Now, from here I marked six point five. From here I marked seven point two. Now join. This point also there. All right, and join these two points. That's it. Now label D E. F G. This is six point five centimeters, and this was seven point two centimeters. This is five point five centimeters, and this was seven point eight centimeters. That's it. This is sum number.